Hello, this is Steve Bo, and uh, what I'd like to go over with today is uh, talk to you a bit about my Phantom uh, and the problems I had with it and how I corrected it. Uh, I bought the Phantom here a couple years ago, and it worked fine. This is a Phantom 2 Vision Pro Plus. Uh, and the first year it worked great. And when I stored it for the winter, I brought it back out in the spring, and I had a black screen. There's no, uh, no video at all. And it would take pictures, and it would take movies, videos, but you couldn't see what you were taking a picture of or a video of. So I got on the web and tried all different things. Uh, nothing worked. Uh, some people even replaced the, uh, the Wi-Fi uh, module in the uh, Phantom. You know, it cost several hundred dollars, and then uh, within a month it was back out again. So... I just wanted to fix it because I love the Phantom and uh, the gentleman that had it before me, he painted the front uh, reddish pinkish for uh, orientation issues. I usually don't have that issue so I tried to get it off so you may see a little bit of orange or red, uh, reddish and uh, that's that's why. Anyways, so the, the black screen, uh, this is how I fixed it. Now here are some pictures of how I fixed it uh, with standard 5.8 uh, a transmitter, uh, 2.4 receiver. Uh, I put my Wi-Fi module in it. I have several, and whatever you like, you can you know put in it if you want to go this route, which enabled me to operate the uh, the Phantom with my Tyrannus X7, uh, a great great transmitter for around a hundred bucks, a bit over, uh, it's a great transmitter, uh, fully adjustable, computerized, the whole works, great. Anyways, uh, so here are some f uh, photographs of what I, uh, how I adjusted it at first, the Phantom. Uh, I put the stuff on the outside because it is a bit of a hassle to get this apart. Uh, so I wanted to make sure it would work okay. So all summer uh, I flew it, uh, flew great, loved it. Uh, great FPV, uh, took a lot of photos, videos, worked great. So uh, then I decided to put it, everything inside. And all that stuff went inside. And basically, uh, let me show you here uh, about where everything is. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to show you the connectors. Uh, it took me a while to find the camera connector. Uh, the receiver connector uh, took a bit, but I that one came out pretty easy. Uh, so... Here is the antenna for my 5.8. Uh, you can see it goes up inside. There is an elbow, and it is right up inside this arm here. And uh, my receiver is up inside here. You can see my two antennas coming down. My receiver is up in here. My GPS is center here. My OSD module is over here. Now, all that inside, uh, so really the only thing sticking out is that FPV antenna right there. Not too noticeable. I was going to use a straight one, but I do like these polarized ones better. Uh, now with the Tyrannus, and I'll be making a video of that shortly. I'll show you how I connected everything up and set everything inside the Tyrannus uh, to get the camera gimbal, so 100% functional. Uh, everything in it works great. Uh, the the failsafe, return to home, the headless, uh, everything works great. I, and uh, inside the Tyrannus, I'll show you how I connected that up. Uh, 
I'll get that video up shortly. Uh, so what I'd like to do is to show you some more pictures and uh, a bit of video and then what we'll do is we'll take this thing out and we'll fly it uh, with all my new stuff inside and uh, below in the video here I've, I have a link to the equipment that I used uh, to do everything uh, so if, if you like it please subscribe uh, and let me know in the comments below if there's anything else uh, you'd like to see. Uh, so let me know. So here are some flights of the new, newly remodeled Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Uh, it's a great, great uh, uh, drone. So I'll let you enjoy some music and watch it fly. Thank you.